Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about the Walmart grocery store shopping experience and the app. It's really fun and really easy to do. All you have to do is download the app, and it's a different app than the actual Walmart app. You can see there's an orange icon on this one, and this one allows you to um, choose what groceries you want to pick up and then you can go ahead and go to the store and they're already ready for you. Now in some areas they have the delivery service available but I live in the middle of the desert so it's not an option for me. Okay so once you have the app loaded up you can go ahead and open it up and then you can just um, go through featured items. On the bottom you can see that there's, this is your home page and so it will show you different featured items and you know kind of serves as a reminder oh yeah I need some sour cream or yeah I'm, I need some um, of these other things. It also has things that you've saved as your favorites and different types of categories just as reminders of things that you might want to purchase. Okay, I don't think it's showing in the video, but on the bottom, um, there are different headings. So the first one is the home screen, and the other one is favorites. And so, you know, once you've gone through and you find things that you normally like to um, purchase from Walmart, and that's what's so great is you always know what things you normally buy there. You can go ahead and just flag those as your favorites. So then the next time you go shopping on line, online here, you can just go straight to your favorite favorites list and click all those things that you normally buy. Once you um, find something that you like, you can just go ahead and click the add button and then it will let you change the quantity. So, you know, tomato sauce. I usually buy quite a few, quite a few cans of tomato sauce. So maybe I want five of those and some tomato sauce. And I can just click in that it will add it to my shopping cart. So down on the bottom you can see that there's actually a search mode. So if I want hamburger patties, I'm going to go ahead and type in hamburger patties. It will allow me to search, take me to the different kinds of hamburger uh, ground beef or hamburger patties. I can save them as a favorite or I can go ahead and start adding them to my cart. All right, so once I have all my groceries ready, um, I can go ahead and go to the cart. There is a $30 minimum, and then I can go ahead and just hit next, or it will give me this um, reminder. Here's some things that you don't have in your cart. Do you need any of these? And if I don't need them, then I can just hit continue, um, and it will take me to the uh, schedule, you know, when I want to pick my groceries up. I make sure that it's at the location that I want, change it if I want a different location, the 24th doesn't have many times because today's the 24th. So I will go to the 25th and now it has a whole day of times that, that I can choose from. And you know, I can all week long, I can just keep adding the groceries that I want instead of doing a grocery list. This is an option for me. I'm ready to pick up on the 25th and then I can just go through and look at what times I want. I want the 8 a.m. slot um, and then I can go ahead and continue the checkout process. I'm not going to go that far because I don't want to end up with these groceries that I don't really want but you get the idea. Okay so that's how you use the app to order your groceries. So then after I've placed the order, um, I get a confirmation. It tells me the steps that I need to follow, what time my delivery is, and where to pick it up. Um, when my order is ready, they send me a text and also an email telling me that I'm ready to check in. I have to go back to the app um, and then check in. That saves time. Or I could just go to, go to the actual spot, but it just saves a little bit of time if I check in through the app. Okay, so... Once I'm at the Walmart, I'm going to go ahead and follow the orange pickup signs. And the orange pickup signs um, will just lead me around to the actual spots that I need to park in. Now, other Walmarts could be different, but my Walmart actually has this pickup location with the numbers on it. I park in front of one of those spots, and then when it, you look at the um, sign, it actually has a phone number on there. And you can call the phone number and they'll bring your groceries right out to you. You don't need to go in or anything like that. So then once they come out, they come out with all these um, tubs and start loading your car for you. Of course, um, you know, you're just standing there, so it's nice to help them. A couple things to think about, though. I live a half hour away from Walmart, so right now it's really hot. I live in the desert, so definitely want my freezer bags. After the lady left, I went and pulled um, the groceries that I wanted in my freezer bags. Uh, I, I did make sure that 
I pulled my bread aside and put that in the front seat. I didn't want it smashed because we just kind of threw everything in there. If there's anything that you're picky with, like picking out your own watermelon or whatever, then just run into the store and pick it up before you actually go pick up your groceries. You've got time. And then the last thing that you'll see after your order is complete, after you're back home, you'll get a confirmation um, that your delivery was picked up and then maybe in a survey included. So participate in that. Anyways, it's a super fun experience, super easy, saves a lot of time. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.